And of course, all of it centers around the preseason player in the year of the league, and that's Kyle Filipowski, who gets us started against Rokas Utus. And we're underway with LaSalle winning the tap. And they've got tra- Proctor on the drive, in traffic, fall away. And it rolls in. And his early returns prove, from a basketball perspective, he's going to be a lot better as a second-year player as well. Baseline Brantley shovels it into the corner. Deshaun Shepard missed everything. Filipowski the rebound. Filipowski, nice pass from Mitchell. And Mark Mitchell, John Shire and his staff concerned about the veteran guards that LaSalle put on the floor. Yotus at the foul line. And Roach and Duke waste no time. Left it short. Gill, the recovery for the Explorers. Away from Tom Golo Arena a year ago and lost their last three in the regular season of the A-10. They look to penetrate. They look to shoot threes. And Duke has really handled that so far. Gill had it rattle out from three. Lead for Filipowski. And he missed the layup. Remember Kyle got shaken up here on Friday against Bucknell. There's a spot-up jump shot, and it's good for Khalil Brantley. 39th start tonight for the junior from the Bronx. Roach trying to measure the screen from Filipowski. Here is the freshman, McCain. Skip out for Roach. Two-pointer good. Averaged 13 points in ACC play a year ago. Gill trapped. Feeds Rokas Yotus. Blocked by Filipowski. And on the inline. And Ryan Young did come in to spell Kyle Filipowski during the dead ball a moment ago. Mitchell strong with the right hand and off the window. Again, Mitchell 6-9. McCain working into traffic. Here's Roach on the drive and got the roll. Shepard, or Brickus rather, whips it to Brantley. Back into the corner, standing three is good for Jameer Brickus. Great to see those guys helping out the Charlotte area. LaSalle the ball, but an early six-point deficit. Nice pass inside, Rokos Yotus, his first field goal. Foster on cue, and the jump shot bounces off the back iron. Recovered by Shepard, who's been quiet so far for the Explorers. Gill, runner with the right hand. Oh, Anwar Gill from our nation's capital with his first basket. Nice job by Gill to drive it to the basket. 7-0 run in total. Mitchell tries to snap it, does, with his third field goal. Shot, he's a left-handed player, but the great pass by Young. Brickus working on Roach. Back for Gill, lefty three at the top. And the rebound for Shepard got deflected. Brantley, little hanger. Foster, Young left alone. And we're going to get a foul on Jameer Brickus off the ball. Here's Proctor. Back to Filipowski, who returns to replace Young. And Kyle can't score it through traffic. And well, he takes Marrero. He takes twos. He just doesn't make any. Just doesn't made, make any twos. Has made seven field goals all year. They've all been threes. Here is Proctor on the drive, followed by Stewart. Gill being patient on the screen. Guns for three and hits. Chris Carwell was talking with us about the the veteran presence of this LaSalle team. Gill a senior, Brickus a senior. Guys that influenced the play. And we were being told about some of the venues they played in on this Army touring team in the 70s. Stewart, the offensive rebound in the bucket for his second field goal. Wesson, again, if he is willing to work that hard on the offensive boards, I think he's going to get a lot of opportunities. Yep. Inside, they feed Shepard, and there's the dunk from Deshaun Shepard. Averaging 12 and a half points, and a lead pass is turned over by the Blue Devils. Too fast, too soon for Filipowski. His feet very well. Now on the offensive end, you see the screen and roll. They go down in the lane, and he gets himself to a point where he... And here's Gill working against Stewart. Tough matchup for the rookie, but he bounced it and blocked it away. How about that? 
And despite their dominance on the inside, Wes, again, you say this is a one-point game. Yep. And some of the cautionary tales that Shire staff was offering have produced here early as Filipowski scores on the turn. His first field goal, he's got three points. That's what you call getting close to the basket. Ooh. Marrero missing on the three. Filipowski, the nice block out. Good hustle by Duke on defense to get out and contest that shot. Here's Proctor weaving into traffic. Spots up and hits. Here's Roach for Foster. Tees up a three. Back rim miss. Mitchell gives Duke a second chance, and it's Proctor from deep. It's coming to Cameron unless you're serenaded after an air ball. <laughs> kind of feel like you get cheated on the experience. Proctor knocks down a three. Duke by seven. And that's Duke's lead. Splitting the double team. Brantley to the basket. Couldn't finish it. Terrific out effort there, and here is... Proctor on a kickback, Foster a standing three. Zan couldn't control it, it'll stay with the Blue Devils. And now Proctor. Boy, Zan and Filipowski are going at it. Yep. And Filipowski can't finish. Talking about Fasasi, where's 34 for LaSalle. Kick out for Zan's three, airballed it. Maturity from a year in the ACC. Here is Proctor catch and shoot three on cue. Okay, maybe he's more than an adequate three. Communicating there. Really nice job by Mitchell to move his feet. Four to shoot. Brick is trying to find a seam, and Zan somehow or another caught the deflection and scored. Fourth field goal, Ryan Zan. Four block, depending on your preference of choice, right? Well, did he get an assist for that? No, I don't think so. There's Proctor. He gets two. And now Tyrese Proctor. Now you want to be patient, but <laughs> I mean, they were almost a little too patient. McCain, long two at the top. And Gill the rebound. Boy, he thought about it, didn't yes, he? Yes, he did. Senior from Coatesville, PA. There's Gill. And the rebound for Stewart. Good outlet. Yep, Proctor on the move. Skip for McCain. And he'll push up a two that's too strong. Look at Stewart keep it alive. Now Proctor, another one. No. And matriculated up through AAU basketball in his prep career from Windermere, Florida. Here's Brantley on the drive. Stewart blocked it. Mitchell. And Proctor sneaks baseline. And here is Stewart. And Windermere, who has picked up a third field. And we have seen the bounce early and often here in this first half. It's a 10-point Duke lead. The drive and score, that's Brickus. He's got five. Duke is at 50% from the floor. And there is Mitchell tapping one in for his fourth field goal. Wes, when you're a small team like LaSalle, you really have to try to cut down on the dribble penetration because once you start rotating, it becomes very hard. Rick has left the two short. Here's the deflection to McCain. Roach off the dribble. And we're going to get a whistle and foul, I believe, on Stewart. Could roll. You could have a Rolodex of unbelievable defensive players. Oh, in his run. Without any question. Kill the runner and the bucket. That's the second time we've seen that shot. Well, here they get to play three extra games. For the price of one. For the price of one, yep. and they don't have to go to Hawaii. That's it. So you find a collection of teams, and you rotate around, and it's an MTE of sort. Here is Proctor spinning on a whirling dervish and left it short. Duke back to its largest of ten. Oh, my. And an alley-oop for Shepard. <laughs> Deshaun Shepard now. We've seen two guys wearing 13 that can take the elevator to the top floor here in the first half. And the finish here. Back after this. Here's Young providing the screen. Foul line area. A little scoop and score for Ryan Young. Is our number here at Cameron at the break. Now let's send you to Kelsey Riggs and Luke Hancock. Inadvertently ticketed Yotus with one that 
ultimately was awarded in the final version to Brickus. And speaking of, Brickus just got hit in the face, turned the ball over, and here is Roach. A little soft touch for Filipowski's second field goal. Very quiet first half. Try and keep Dunphy's team moving north here. Filipowski three from the front. Filipowski. Here's Roach. All the way in, right back to Filipowski, and one. Sophomore redshirt from Venezuela's LaSalle's first team foul. Roach is a guy who's a great playmaker. 18 point lead. The hill gets a little steeper for Dumpy's team. Bounce pass, Yotus with a right hand. Coming off 17 and 10 against Bucknell. Filipowski, oh, about that nice move? move with a left hand and score. Take Phil me through one of these well, Filipowski's a load in the post, and he dribbles, and this is a great move where he makes uses that pivot foot. He turns to the right. 20 now, biggest of the night for the Blue Devils, 13 for Filipowski. And a runner off balance from Brantley. Yotus, the screen kill, the left-handed three is short. Rokas cleans it up inside. Second field goal for Yotu. A great job getting out on the shooters. Nothing easy or uncontested from the outside for LaSalle. Roach a three. Brickus. Wes, I think what he should have done is stop on the outside and shot the three. Nice pass. Yotu's the dunk. Now Dan with the whistle on Khalil Brantley. You know, he, it looked like he leaned his shoulder. They've already got a steep hill to climb. and They don't need to make it any steeper. Here's Proctor. What a pretty wow, shot. Wow. Yep. You're not going to get this all back at once, but what you'd like to do is go on a little 6 or 7 0 run there. Yep. And that's swatted by Filipowski. Look out. Roach has got friends. He'll take it down and lay it up, and he'll hold off on it. Mitchell had it, and he's fouled on the second chance. That'll get us to a timeout. They've already had an interesting first four games when you look at kind of the dynamic of their three and one start. Yotus. Now they played two big time games out of those first four games and they didn't really play well against Arizona, but they had a chance to win that game. There's Mitchell cleaning up a miss for his fifth field goal. Now they played Dartmouth. They have played Bucknell with Michigan State and Arizona also in the lot. Yep. There's all kinds of other distractions for the fan. Proctor, three ball out of the corner. Good. No, it's a two. Brantley into traffic. And with two on the clock, that is Brickus. The foul will be on Stewart. Another look at the three from a long three. That's one way to describe that. Here's Foster to the basket. And it rolled off the front rim. A very again, another contested shot. Hotly contested shot. Proctor for Filipowski. Another lonesome three. He does get in foul trouble. Yeah. Here's McCain. He's scoreless tonight. Still is. And that's a, one of the dangerous things about Duke, Wes. You, they're not going to rely on the same guy every night, and that's sort of a scary thought. Shepard. And Proctor, the backside rebound. Look at transition developing nicely. McCain will take another crack at it. On the board. Ninth three of the year for Sacramento's Jared McCain. Shooting pocket. Brantley. Now Brickus. Whoa! Got by McCain and scores. On one four of, field goals. One of the few times they've been able to create that pull-up jump shot. Nice pass, and Stewart, an easy dunk. He's got a season high tonight. Goes over the six-point mark. He'd be fun in the open floor. On the drive, kill with the left hand. Nice. Next dead ball will get us to a timeout. Here's Filipowski. Oh, nice pass fake right back for McCain. Another one. Sure. Russ, I like the way he positions himself. When he catches it, he's ready to go. Yep, sure is. 
Blue Devil lead its largest now, 25, but all cut back now. We're almost halfway home in this final 20 minutes at Cameron tonight. And the rebound of the miss from Proctor by Yotus. They have made a day and change out of their first visit to Cameron in 42 years. Well, West Down, that was just great that they got everybody together for the picture. Yep. And Gill on the score. <laughs> Three on two, and here is Gill, a fast-moving layup for his third field goal of the half. Gill, step away three, pretty shot, rattled out. And it will belong to the Blue Devils. And here's Jalen Blakes. They have really not allowed LaSalle to get anything going, particularly in the second half. Yep. Foster, runner nice. Now they came in averaging 82.3 per game through the first four. They're going to finish with at least 82 tonight. Oh, oh what a no look for Stewart. The Thanksgiving food drive, if you will, that Caleb Foster had over the weekend north of Charlotte. And now T.J. Power on the floor for the first time, and we watch Brickus launch another three. Baseline for Sassi, a little scoop with the left hand, and one for Tunde Valberg for Sassi, his first basket. Important element for yeah. Fran Dumphy during the 8-10 season. Six feet eight, over 200 pounds. 24-point lead for Duke. Here is Foster. Nice pass for Stewart. And the basket. 84-58. Cut to the basket. Nice pass for Sassi at three. Well, the young man from Sweden knocks down his third three of the year. And here's Blakes for Foster inside Stewart. Too far underneath. Got it back, and it rimmed out. He got his own rebound and scores a third time the charm. That will be that. 95-66, the Blue Devils win tonight, Dan. And I said, was except for a couple of offensive, a little bit of offensive struggles at times in the first half. Lucas Mercandino is waiting to come in the game and will stay at the line as kick out for power of three. First points from the floor for T.J. Power. The next season, Bill Foster's team won by 24 here at Cameron. Three years later, Mike Krzyzewski's second have come off the bench. Here's Foster under a minute to go. Power, another one. Sure. Just come in and fill it right on up for you, Dan. Well, when, you, when you get an opportunity, Wes, you take advantage of it. He's got nine. Three ball, Marrero. Still power. Come on, TJ. Sure. Nope, spot out. He'll finish with a pretty gaudy three for four line from behind the three point line. There's a three ball. That is uh, Mercandino's first points of the year.